Hey, what's up? It's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast and The Game and Kanye West forged a fruitful partnership in the early 2000s with collaborations like Dreams, Crack Music, and Wouldn't Get Far. But things haven't always been smooth between them. In 2019, The Game ruffled feathers when he rapped about Kanye's then-wife, Kim Kardashian, who he previously dated in a pretty vulgar fashion. On an unreleased song from his Born to Rap album, The Game spit these lyrics. <laughs> Now, during a recent interview with Complex's Speedy Mormon, however, the game revealed Ye reached out to him about the song, and needless to say, Ye was not happy. Um, there's a few times where Ye called me after he heard me say some shit and was like, what's up? And I'm like, what's up, nigga? He like, come on, man. And I'm like, come on what? <laughs> and uh, he like, can you not, you know, Kim's mad about the line, can you just not do it anymore? And I'm like, yeah, you know? And then so I stopped for a while and I didn't do it again, I didn't do it no more. And then I did it again and he got a little, he got a little pissed off at me. And uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't speak for like uh, six months. I don't know, it, I'm not saying it was due to that, yeah, yeah. but I could, I could hear the, you know, the, um, the, um, the anger in his voice a little bit the second time because he really meant it the second time and I felt he meant it and I love him to death so then I really just asked the shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying and we and we've been smooth ever since the game also went on to address his history with Kim Kardashian and recalled Kanye West's surprising reaction to their brief fling while working together in the studio earlier this year I say that every time I needed yay and this is just a part of why I said that. And people don't know my truth. People are not walking in my Air Force Ones. They don't know what I do daily, and they don't know me and Dre's relationship uh, in comparison to me and Ye's or anything like that. Um, Ye, anytime I've ever needed Ye, he's always been there for me. Yeah. And this is after I've been like, I was disrespected, you know, his marriage at times by saying, you know, uh, you know, what me and Kim used to be and all of this stuff like that. And even Ye will joke about that now. I'll sit with Ye and he's like, you know, well, game, you, you know, you fucked with Kim first. And I'll be like, yeah, like we in a room full of people. Like, why? Is that you know awkward for you when it happens? It, it, the first time, first two times, it was kind of <laughs> awkward. Now it's just like, yay, being honest and it's all good. Now the game and Kanye West reunited back in January with their song Easy, which made headlines thanks to Ye threatening to beat up Kim Kardashian's current boyfriend, Pete Davidson, and symbolically decapitating him in the song's video. Now this only added to the friction of their divorce, but as the game admitted during his complex chat, Kanye isn't solely to blame. Okay, so as you ver audibly hear him say like, oh, talking about the marriage, talking about Pete Davidson, uh, like, your reaction is what? <clears throat> like, say it like this. <laughs> you and added like, it in, like. And some of those lines, Ye looked at me like, can I say this? And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can say that. So, I mean, a lot of those strong lines and more of the really, more of the lines that might seem a little borderline disrespectful probably was like, me tapping him on the shoulder, like, we good with that. The game also went on to defend Kanye's decision to air out his family drama on Easy, arguing that his rhymes are exactly the level of authenticity that rap fans crave. The Easy record, it was a big one. <clears throat> Is that weird when you have a song with someone that you consider a friend, you have a mutual person that you dated, but Ye is rapping about the tumultuous relationship and about beating his, the ass of his ex's new boy. Is that weird for you? I feel like I would just kind of be in a room um, looking around like, damn. That's this why is... I was on the first verse. I got my shit off. And, and got I, out of there, right? I, 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 I skirted out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I left the rest of the song to Ye. And as you can see, Ye's verse is like hella longer than mine. Yeah. Because I let him unpack his shit. And what a lot of people didn't see and didn't hear is that for him, that was therapeutic. Yeah. He got to get it out on a record and let the public, fit, you know, feel and um, like feel where he was coming from and hear where he was coming from. And isn't that what we should be doing in hip hop? If Fact. you don't want no cap and you want artists to be real, if you want a painter to get, you know, grab a uh, a canvas and put it on the easel and paint something from their heart, let's, you know, let's accept it when it comes in the form of hip hop and honesty, especially in a world where artists are just doing, you know, a bunch of bullshit. So what do you think about this interesting relationship dynamic between The Game and Kanye West? Do you think The Game was in the wrong for those lyrics he rapped? And was he wrong for encouraging Kanye to air out his family drama on Easy? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast as well and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.